Go on. <laughs> Time having arrived for Monday, October 14th, 8 o'clock, 2014. I hereby call the city council meeting to order. Stand and please salute the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, counselors. <clears throat> item number one, please. The appointment of Jane Monahan Brockton as a member of the Council and Aging Board for a three year term ending October 2017. That is referred to Finance Committee. Appointment of Chris Connolly of Brockton as a member of the Board of Park Commissioners for a five year term ending March 2019. That too referred to Finance Committee. Appointment of John Kenny of Brockton as a member of the Council and Aging Board for a three year term ending October 2017. Council is also referred to Finance Committee. We have the transfer petition of community carriaging to Cowan Enterprises Inc. for a license for eight taxi medallions, which has been in existence since April of 1992, in City Council October 14, 2014. Councilors, that's going to be referred to public safety. We have the petition of MA Industrial Brockton LLC for a garage license located at 1150 West Chestnut Street, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, September 1, 2014. Hearing is signed for October 14, 2014. The fire Department has no objections uh, pending final uh, construction. Council, it's time haven't arrived. I declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward to the podium. State your name for the clerk. My name's Dan Porrazzo, <laughs> representing Condine at 1150 West Chestnut Street. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I have a, a little drawing here of what we're doing, if anybody wanted to look at it, and I've got smaller versions as well. Thank you. Uh, what is this, what three? It is, if, if I might, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, um, I've been uh, by the site and I've also had conversation with the Mr. Prazo, in regards to the, this um, matter, and um, I welcome uh, the business to the, uh, to the Ward 3 area. So I don't have a problem with what, uh, what they're doing, so I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Council. Any other councils have a question for the gentleman? That's his manager. Council Barnes. What, uh, hello, sir. What's the business? It, it's going to be Kenworth Truck. It's going to be a trucking center. Currently, right now, it's a warehouse um, and an office. They're going to make it their regional South Shore office uh, complex and a facility to repair trucks. In the building, repair trucks. What kind of trucks? Like box trucks, mass uh, no, trucks. No, big, big tractor trailer trucks is what they're going to be repairing. For repair. Yes. Okay. And they'll be there for the the garage is to overnight, yeah. correct? Yeah. Yes. There's a there's two buildings on the site. One building's going to come down so they have more parking. To do it separately. Okay. And if you could just just to refresh my memory, 1150 yeah. West Chestnut is a long street. Yeah, where where it is, um, if if you're familiar with where Sammy's uh, sandwich shop is and Sweeney's yes. Liquor, directly across the street. Oh, okay. The Beacon Sales is in the back part of that building and will remain there as a tenant. Uh, we're going to continue to own the property. We're going to be renovating it and then leasing it to Kenworth. So we'll continue to own it. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Any other councils? Is there anyone else here in the chamber that's in favor of this matter? Anyone here? If so, please come forward. Second time, anyone here? Third and final. That part of the hearing is going to be uh, is going to be closed. Is there anyone here in the chamber tonight in opposition? Anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Third and final time. Anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, that part of the hearing is closed as well. Tell them don't wait on them. Okay, it's closed. Okay, that's okay. Uh, now the matters before us, councilors. Move to approve. Second. All in favor of granting the license, raise your hand. All opposed. License is hereby granted. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of October 6, 2014. Accepted, please don't file. We have a communication from the mayor as of September 29, 2014, appointing Naomi Carlisle as a part time assistant city solicitor. That also is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor submitting a, a letter of resignation from Marlene Amidi from the Proctor Council and AG. Accepted and placed on file, Council. Communication from the Emergency Management Director requesting that the City Council accepts the Fiscal 13, Fiscal 14 EMPG grant in the amount of $44,435. This funding will be used to purchase operational equipment for BEMA as well as the Emergency Operations Center. 
Accepted a place to file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too, accepted a place to file. Communication from the CFO relative to the that same. That also accepted a place to file. Communication from the executive board of health officer requesting that the city council accept the sum and the amount of $5,187.72 from the Mass Department of Public Health through its region number five host agent, the MAHB, for reimbursement for the purpose of building the level of volunteers for the area of Medical Reserve Corps. Accepted a place to file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted a place to file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted a place to file. We have the appointment of Charles B. Hickey, Menlo Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Parking Authority for a five-year term ending October 2019. In Council, September 22nd, 2014. Refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilors, the question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Monaghan. Yes. 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 Sudinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine and confirmation uh, the appointment is hereby confirmed. Appointment of Molly and MED, 47 Herod Avenue to the Brockton Cable Advisory Board for a three-year term ending in October 2017 and Council September 22nd, 2014. Referred to the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Questions on a confirmation by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azaf. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine and eight Appointment is confirmed. Appointment of Andrea R. Burton, Brockton, to the Brockton Parking Authority for a five-year term ending October 2019 and Council September 22nd, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Easy. <coughs> yes. Brian. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Appointment is here by confirmed. Order that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of a Paramount multi-station gym from Precision Fitness Equipment to the City of Brockton Fire Department. Retail value of this two-stack gym is $5,199. The gift of Paramount multi-station gym will serve as a fitness equipment to the Fire Department, keep it in shape, physically fit, and be centrally located at Station 1. There is no cost to the City. In Council, September 22, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ioneering. Yes. 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 Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine Order is hereby adopted. Order that the Brockton City Council does hereby grant perpetual right and easement to Massachusetts Electric Company and Verizon New England Inc for consideration of $1 to construct, reconstruct, repair, maintain, operate, and patrol for the transmission of high and low voltage electrical current and for the transmission of intelligence and telephone use, lines to consist of, but not limited to, one pole with wires and cable installed thereon and all necessary foundations, anchors, guys, braces, fittings, equipment, and right of ways over, across, under, and upon land owned by the City of Brockton, being located on the southerly side of North Carey Street, and further that the City Council authorize the Mayor to execute the grant of easement and to take any actions necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of the same. End Council, September 22nd, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption <coughs> by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine and seven. Order is adopted. An ordinance amending Chapter 14 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 14, Offenses. That's referred to Ordinance Committee. An ordinance amending <coughs> Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows, Chapter 27, Zoning, Article 8. That is referred to both Ordinance Committee and Planning Board. An ordinance amending <clears throat> Chapter 11 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows, Chapter 11, Section 11-162. Referred to Ordinance Committee. 
audit in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the state election will be held on Tuesday, November 4th, 2014. Councilor Stanitsky. I make a motion that we move uh, under suspension of the rules on this item due to the late hour. Second. Yeah. Second. Motion made properly seconded to act on this agenda item number 23 under suspension of rules. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed, that's going to carry. Uh, the question now becomes before us uh, on the order for adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Tenenia. Order is hereby adopted. An appropriation of $44,435 for Mass Emergency Management Agency Performance Grant Program, the Procter Emergency Management Agency, BEMA, intends to use these grant funds to purchase operational equipment for BEMA as well as the Emergency Operations Center. For the Finance Committee. Appropriation of $5,187.72 from the Mass Association of Health Boards, Plymouth County Region, Five Emergency Coalition Grant Fund, the City of Brockton, Board of Health, Massachusetts, Medical Reserve Corp Grant Fund for the purpose of building the level of volunteers for the area Medical Reserve Corps. Refer to Finance Committee, Councils. Resolved that the representatives of the Brockton Area Branch, NAACP, be invited to appear before a committee of this council to report on the efforts of that organization. Refer to Finance Committee, Council Azak. I, I have a late file. Second. Motion made properly seconded. Uh, all, all in favor of the late file. All opposed. Carries. Resolved that Patricia Kelleher, President and CEO of Family Community Resources, Inc., Lover and Gordon, President of Love Life, New Foundation, Inc., and Erin Baum Cattell, Director of Violence Intervention and Prevention of Health Imperatives, to be invited before a committee of this council to discuss domestic violence awareness and its resources. For the Finance Committee, Councilor Neri. I have a late file, Mr. President. Second. second. Motion made, properly second for a late file. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, motion carried. <coughs> in Council October 14, 2014, resolved that the city solicitor, interim police chief, acting DPW commissioner, and traffic commissioner come before the finance committee to discuss lowering the driving speed limit on certain areas within the city, excluding streets, highways, roads under the state's authority, as part of an effort to reduce pedestrian injuries and or deaths submitted by Robert F. Sullivan, Council at Large. Refer to Finance Committee. Councilors, I was remiss. Our colleague, Council at Large, uh, Jay Stewart, uh, sent me an email earlier. He was unable to join us uh, tonight. Anything else before us? Council Yanieri. If I might, Mr. President, I just want to make a reminder that next Monday evening at 6 p.m. prior to our finance meeting, that's October the 20th, there will be an ordinance meeting, so that's next Monday at 6 p.m. right here in the Council Chambers. Council Azak. Thank you. I just would like to remind everybody that tomorrow night I have a Ward 7 meeting at Buffalo Wild Wings at 7 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Anything else? Council Monaghan. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, Wednesday, October 15th, uh, Brighton High School Alumni Association and the Just Checking In Fund will be having a night out for scholarships from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Shaw Center. That's tomorrow night, Council? That's tomorrow night. And you're paying for everything? Whatever you want. Thank you, Council. Okay. Anything else before us? <laughs> Seeing none, this meeting is hereby adjourned.